rippling muscles, deadly serrated claws, razor sharp teeth. None of these can even compare to the most deadly, the most ferocious, the best predator of them all, a sundew! That's right, this innocent looking plant of the genus Drosera is an incredibly effective hunter, wrapping its tentacles around prey in a fraction of a second, followed by slow digestion and death of its prey. Its unusual food source allows the sundew to thrive in the nutrient poor soils it calls home. But what exactly causes this plant to be so effective? You see those globs of hot glue? Uh, I mean drops of the morning dew? Well those are not made of water at all. They're made of a material known as mucilage which is a type of hydrogel, which in turn is a type of superabsorbent polymer, which in itself is a type of polymer. I know that was a lot of words, but let's break it down. A polymer is a compound consisting of a long chain or series of chains of repeating subunits. Polymer literally means having many parts, coming from poly, which means many, and the Greek word meros, which means a share. Polymers are all around us, from the plastics we see everywhere, to the rubber and tires, to even the sugars in our cells. They can be stretchy, stiff, bouncy, and practically anything you can imagine. This brings us to super absorbent polymers, the stuff found in diapers, feminine hygiene products, and even instant snow. Basically, they're a type of polymer that acts as a sponge, absorbing and retaining material with a much larger volume than themselves. But where do super absorbent polymers differ from other polymers? This is due to a phenomenon known as cross-linking. Imagine connecting two polymer chains such that you have a ladder of sorts. Now imagine having thousands upon thousands of these ladders all connected to each other. Molecules get trapped between these spaces, allowing a super absorbent polymer to absorb more than a typical substance. The majority of super absorbent polymers are hydrophilic or water loving. But saying hydrophilic super absorbent polymer all the time is quite a mouthful, right? That's why scientists came up with a different term. Hydrogel. Simple, huh? And this is what mucilage, the stuff on the sundew plant, is. A hydrogel. Hydrogels can be bouncy, smooth, stretchy, sticky, like in the sundew plant, and anything in between. But why do we care about all of this? What is mucilage in the sundew plant doing for us humans? Well, actually some pretty amazing things. Scientists have been able to replicate mucilage's adhesive effects, creating synthetic adhesives far more effective than traditional ones. But it isn't just the mucilage. Plenty of hydrogels and other similar materials found in nature are used to create synthetic versions or are directly used in practical applications. This technique is known as biomimicry. And what are some of these uses? Water retention for agriculture in drier places, sewage and organic waste cleanup, wound dressings, hygiene products, drug delivery mechanisms, explosives, the list goes on and on and on. Who could have thought that a deadly predator, this simple looking plant, could teach us so much?